Hello everyone, this is Sam. As always, the classic intro of me saying that one retarded line, but it doesn't really matter because what interests you comes after the real intro. We can Indeed, today we're going to be speaking about one thing that I have already started speaking about beforehand, which is the RAID consumables. In my previous video, indeed, I was talking about platinum doubloons and how these were used to make bountiful sharpening stones, which were and are still meta on some classes. Now, bountiful sharpening stones aren't the only consumables that you might be interested in. Indeed, power classes are going to be using the toxic sharpening stone, while the condition classes are going to be using the toxic focusing crystals. As a matter of fact, I do have some focusing crystals on this character right here, and if you look at them on the trading post, you can see that they are rather expensive. Even more so when it is the start of the raid week, and that people are buying them from the trading post directly. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, not spend as much money as the others on these consumables, what would I be doing? Well, the easiest way would be to craft them by myself. But how do I do that? Well, quite simply enough, you can actually get the recipe from either the training post, even though it is quite expensive, or you can get it directly from the pack supply agents. Indeed, if you look at the training post for the recipe, you can see that it goes up to 12 gold. However, pack supply agents may have the recipe available and usually some very nice people announce it on Reddit. Such characters are like this one and you can buy the recipe directly from them. Now, what does that recipe allow you to do? Well, the easiest way to talk about this would be to show it to you guys. Let's head up to the Artificer Station. And I had to wait for the event to be over, which was quite annoying. So, if we actually go for the Toxic Focusing Crystal recipe, it is very simple. Indeed, it is using some materials that are rather simple to get your hands on. As we have talked before, the most annoying part is getting the recipe itself. Then, you're gonna need Pies of Crystalline Dust. These are usually acquired cheaply from the trading post, or you can salvage your own Globs of Ectoplasms, which is actually worth it, because if you look at the price of Globs of Ectoplasms at the moment, you can see that they are at 36 silver. So, salvaging them for the Pies of Crystalline Dust is worth it. Now, the second thing that you need is pristine toxic spore samples. You might want to buy them from the trading post or get them yourself by uh, harvesting them. It doesn't really matter, just get them and get your stuff done. And finally, Pies of Blossom Dust. Pies of Blossom Dust are probably the most annoying one to get out of all of these because they are a countdown, first of all, and second of all, you mostly acquire them from champion bags. Now, most raiders are gonna actually be getting champion bags from their clears and their subsequent boss kills throughout the week, so they might be able to get enough Blossom Dust to fulfill their own consumption of consumables. However, for the people that do not trade that much or who actually do open world and yet still need the same food, there are other ways to acquire them. Indeed, you can get some of them by opening Fractal Encryptions, as I was doing with my Fractal Encryption keys earlier, or you can get them through various other containers. The easiest way still being going for a silver waste chest farm and actually getting them from the champ bags over there. Now that you have all of them, you may start crafting your consumables and enjoying the price of it. So I'm just gonna get a few... There you go. That's why I said that it was worth it. I just used two hectares and got four out of it. Completely worth it. And as you can see, I have quickly made ten of these and it was utterly worth it because I can sell them for almost 8 gold and it actually doesn't cost nearly that much to craft them. Now I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this video, that it uh, proved to be rather helpful for you and obviously I will keep more and more coming. Actually I should be apologizing to every single one of you, my dear viewers, for not having made any content for the past month. Work has been going kinda crazy and my personal life also got out of hand to the point that I actually didn't want to log in and play the game. However, my life's going much better right now and I'm gonna put the effort needed to get the channel back on track. Now, if you have any suggestions, feel free to contact me either in the comment section or directly on Twitter. I am available almost every day. You may also get my contact on Discord. It is samajeste hashtag 1398. I will be writing it down in the description. 
Now, to everyone, happy trading and get rich.